After visiting with Norm, I'm now back in the town of Fairmont, and I can't help wondering why this charming Minnesota town has so many hogs on the loose. Okay, they're not real hogs, but statues of hogs. People may not believe me, so I need to get some up-close pictures. So, you like my pig? My hog? I do! I'm Jeff. Jeff, I'm Doug. Nice Glad to, meet to meet you. Glad to meet you, Doug. Tell me the story of these. As I drove into town, I saw three or four of these out in front of other businesses, and what's well, the deal? Well, there are a lot of them throughout the county. There's, in fact, 88 in the county right now and 15 more scheduled to go in front of different businesses throughout the county. We're a small group of volunteers that started this with the goal of spotlighting our businesses to feature our local artists and to honor our pork industry. Because I don't know if you know this, but we're the pork capital of the state of Minnesota. So your hog, mm -hmm. as I can see here, represents movies, theater. Yeah. I'm, I'm a film and, and movie buff and mm -hmm. seemed appropriate to do something uh, that honored that type of thing. And so I made it according to that. So this is your business here? Yes, it's called Our Story Studios. We're a local television program that spotlights local businesses. Well, Jeff, I'm doing a program on collections, unique oh, really? collections. And what I love about the hog story, it's a community collection. Absolutely. And so many people are involved with 100 businesses involved and uh, 24 local artists. It is definitely a community project. But you're doing what? A story on what? on interesting collections, people that collect things and the stories about oh. their collection. Oh, why don't you come in and take a look? I think you might be surprised. Jeff, what is this? Well, this is where I shoot a lot of our TV show, but this is mostly part of my collection. We've incorporated a collection of different things throughout the whole building that are pretty much my interests. But Jeff, when I look around here, I see old TVs, radios, film. That is your interest. Entertainment. Old entertainment is my interest. Old entertainment. Mm -hmm. Doug, you might like this room, but now I'm going to show you my man cave. I think you'll like that. Well, I've been collecting for probably 35 years. I used to own a poster and art print company that specialized in original movie posters. That was my bread and butter for many years. And then after that, this evolved into a personal collection of basically anything that reminds me of my youth or the, the history of film and television, because that's my hobby. So this is more than a collection, really. This is really personal to you, I can tell. Yeah, it's pretty much everything that reminds me of my youth. You know, whether it be the telephones, the TVs, the television show memorabilia, film memorabilia, it's just all things that I like. Some of them are very valuable, some have no value at all, and it makes no difference. I, I treasure some of the ones that have no value more than some of the ones that have some value. That's a true collector. <laughs> it really is. So. Well, I love it. Thank you so much for stopping. <laughs>